Brittiläinen matemaatikko James Crime vieraili Suomessa kertomassa salakirjoitusjärjestelmien historiasta ja niiden jännittävistä käyttötavoista, joiden avulla on käyty sotia ja välitetty salaista tietoa jo tuhansien vuosien ajan. Grimein esitelmän kohokohta oli aito saksalainen salakirjoituslaite Enigma, jonka salausjärjestelmän murtuminen oli yksi toisen maailmansodan tärkeimpiä käännekohtia. I.S. tutustui Enigmaan Jamesin opastuksella. Uh, so my name is James. I, I am a mathematician from Cambridge University. And uh, well, I've been visiting Out Party uh, this weekend uh, because I was invited to show off a Enigma machine, a World War II Enigma machine. I think my interest starts when I was a child, I mean when I was a boy. Um, lots of people like sending secret messages and secret codes to their friends when they're children. And I'm sure I did that as well. Um, then, uh, in later life, I became a mathematician. Uh, mathematics is something that I've always been, it's always come very naturally and I was always very good at. Um, I became, I became a, a I studied mathematics, I became a mathematician, and then my, my type of mathematics isn't uh, code-breaking, it's, but it's very similar, it was very close. So they asked me, do you want to take the Enigma machine and, and talk about it and show it to people? And I said, yes please, I would love to do that, what a fantastic thing. Uh, so that's what I do now, I, I do this uh, very often. We're going to look at this uh, special uh, box over here. It doesn't look like much at the moment, it's just a wooden box. But inside we have something called an Enigma machine. This was used in World War II by Nazi Germany to send secret messages. So we open it up and look inside. This is what we have. If you look at it, it does look like a typewriter. And that's pretty much how it works. Uh, but we'll try a, try a message with it. I'm going to type in hello into the Enigma machine. So let's try this out. So H for hello. And if you can see, the letter P lights up. So H becomes P, that's the code. Let's try E. E becomes W. L becomes B. The second L in hello, let's try it becomes Z this time, and then we finish it off, let's do O, oh, and that's B again, that's interesting. So this code was a much more difficult code to break. Uh, Old-fashioned codes would have uh, double letters, and they would become double letters. That was a clue, it helped you break the code. This is different. Double letters may not necessarily be double letters. So, how do we decode the message? So, I'm going to type in a message. Uh, I'm going to say hi, because it's nice and short. So, let's do this first of all. We're going to send the message hi. The code is A, D, A, D. Now, this rotor moved when I typed in hi. It moved two places. I'm going to move it back to where it was. Backwards, one, two places. That resets the machine. We now type in the code instead. The code is A, D. Let's try it. We type in A, A becomes a H. And if we type in D, D in the code becomes an I. Hi. And you get the message back again. It's a very clever machine. So this was the machine that Nazi Germany were using to send their secret messages, their secret plans. If we can break this code, we will know the secret German plans. So we had to break this code. There is a flaw with this machine. The Germans thought it was unbreakable and it's a very good machine. There is a flaw in the machine. A letter will keep changing. If I press A, it keeps changing. There's no pattern to this. And eventually, all the letters will light up. Except for one letter. And that's the letter itself. If I keep pressing A, it would never light up A itself. And you can use that as a clue. It's a very small clue, it's only a tiny thing. But it's just enough to start breaking the Enigma code. 
people have this idea that mathematics is a very dry, dull subject, that you have a formula at the top of the page and you, you do your work and you get x equals 6 at the end, and that's not true. If, if mathematics was like that, I wouldn't do it. The mathematics, if you talk to mathematicians, we talk about beauty, we talk about elegance, we talk about it like it's music, like it's art, uh, it involves creative thought, intuition, guesswork even, and it is a creative subject. I create something that has never been done before.